Before dawn, on Thursday morning, a sonic boom echoed the skies above Florida, the last sonic boom of its kind. The space shuttle Atlantis and four astronauts returned from the International Space Station in triumph. Early now deploying the drag chute. Bringing an end to NASA's 30-year shuttle journey with a wheel stop at 6 a.m. Eastern Time. A record crowd of 2,000 gathered near the landing strip. Thousands more packed the Kennedy Space Center. And countless others watched as emotions ran high and the reality of the final landing took shape. I, I think for some people it started sinking in this morning out here on the runway. For many people in, in America and around the world, it's slowly beginning to sink in. But what they should understand is we've still got American, we've still got astronauts from around the world operating on the International Space Station. And because of the agreement of all of our countries, we're going to be there through 2020 and maybe even beyond. Here on the runway, just 100 feet behind me, is the space shuttle Atlantis. It's only landed 25 times in the night in its 30-year history. Thank you for protecting us and bringing this program to such a fitting end. And after months of decommissioning, Atlantis will be placed on public display at the Kennedy Space Center Visitors Complex. But also, it's sort of, you know, obviously bittersweet. It's uh, uh, this is the last inch that she, she will have moved operationally. So uh, it's, uh, it's, it's, uh, it's farewell. We'll come and visit her, of course, all the time. But to know that she's uh, space ready right now, probably for the last time, is uh, kind of tough. Tomorrow will be even harder as nearly 2,000 NASA employees will be handed pink slips. NASA is sacrificing the shuttles, according to the program manager, so it can get out of low Earth orbit and get to points beyond. The first stop under President Barack Obama's plan is an asteroid by 2025. We're going to go to an asteroid in 2025, the moon after that, so there are big, big plans for us ahead. So I, I just ask everybody to continue to support us the way they have been doing. Until then, NASA astronauts will continue to hitch rides to the space station on Russian spacecrafts for tens of millions of dollars per seat. And on this final day of NASA history, the Atlantis will always be remembered, as will the thousands of people who made the space shuttle program run for 30 years. Robert Ray, Associated Press, Cape Canaveral, Florida. This place in history is secured.